Let's solve question number 40. Let fx be a continuous function then. And fx is a piecewise function with critical point at x equals to 0. Now we know that x raised for alpha is a continuous function in its domain. Sine of 1 by x is also a continuous function in its domain. This is a polynomial function which is also a continuous function in its domain. So basically, this function is entirely continuous everywhere, but we haven't checked at this critical point yet, right? So our basic condition would be f of 0 equals to RHL equals to LHL, right? So f of 0 would be, we'll be using this function because of the equality over here, right? So this would be 2 into 0 plus 0 minus 2 into 0 plus beta. That comes out as beta only, right? If we talk about f of 0 minus, in that case, we'll again have to use this function only, right? So that comes out as 2 into minus h cube plus minus h whole square minus 2 into minus h plus beta. Now, these all are negligible because they are h, okay? So this also comes out as beta. This limit comes out as beta. Now, f of 0 plus would be, we'll have to use this function, right? So that would be h raised power alpha multiplied by sine of 1 by h, right? Now, since h is approaching 0, this is an oscillating limit, right? It has no fixed values. And if this is finite, in that case, this entire limit actually becomes oscillating limit, right? And in that case, we can say limit is not existing. So function won't be continuous. To make it continuous, the only possible option is to make this as zero, right? In that case, this entire limit would become zero because this is actually finite but oscillating. So if this becomes very small, that is close to zero, this entirely becomes close to zero and hence limit becomes zero, right? So this has to be zero. If this is zero, then to make the function continuous, these two have to be zero only. So beta equals to zero, okay? Now, we have to choose either of B or C. Now, if we take some negative value of alpha, in that case, this won't be zero, right? Think in this manner. Let's say we have H equals to 0.0001. If we take some value, let's say minus one by two, in that case, this would become one upon 0.0001 raised power one by two. Now, this is not finite. This is very large number, right? This is not close to zero. This is not close to zero. This is very large number. In that case, our hypothesis won't be true, okay? In that case, we can say we should be the correct answer, right?